Good morning, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Thank you for allowing me to speak today. My name is Ann Olson, and I'm representing the Texas Baptist Christian Life Commission. The Christian Life Commission is the Ethics and Public Policy Division of the Texas Baptist Convention, um, a convention with over 5,700 churches in our state. I'd like to begin my testimony this morning with a story that um, our former director, Susie Painter, some of you may know well, um, tells about her time as a teacher. Susie was teaching elementary school at one point in time, and one day a young man came up and asked her for a pencil. So she said, great, I will, I will give you a pencil. The next day he said, ma'am, I've lost my pencil, may I have another? All right, we need to work on not losing pencils, but you may have another. And this continued on for day after day until finally frustration and curiosity got the best of her. And she said, why is it that you keep losing these pencils? Come and show me where these pencils are in your desk. So she went and looked in his desk, and what she found was a stack of pencils, all missing erasers. Turns out he was eating the erasers to keep from going hungry overnight. I tell you that story to illustrate the fact that childhood hunger exists in our country and in our state. This young man's story, unfortunately, is far from unusual. In fact, over one in four children in Texas live in households that struggle to afford food. Thankfully, programs like the school breakfast and school lunch programs exist to ensure our children are fed throughout the school year. But as we know and as we hear quite often, hunger does not take a summer vacation. Summer meal programs, as you've heard, fully funded by USDA, exist to fill the gap for hungry kids during the summer months. School districts, schools, community-based organizations like food banks and boys and girls clubs, and faith-based communities, including churches and ministries, serve as sponsors and sites for these meals. And though numerous organizations are working hard to implement the program, right now we serve an extremely low number of children during the summer. Some estimates range from only 9 to 12 percent of eligible children. This means that upwards of 90 percent of children who qualify for free and reduced lunch during the school year are not participating in the program. We are missing the opportunity to maximize our federal dollars and feed children in need. The Christian Life Commission supports at HB 749 because we value the importance of a strategic, systemic, and statewide approach to addressing the issue of access to food for children during the summer. Because Texas is so diverse, we cannot take a one-size-fits-all approach to addressing the need for better outcomes. We can do better. We can do better by creating a strategic plan to target specific areas of need, both geographically, as you've heard, and demographically. This bill will allow both the Texas Hunger Initiative and the Texas Department of Agriculture, as well as sponsors, sites, and outreach organizations to help the summer meal program become more efficient with the goal of serving thousands of more children during the summer months. A plan developed by THI and TDA will help give sponsors and sites, including Texas Baptist Ministries and churches, the resources and best practices they need as a model of sustainability. Our churches want to help. They have a heart for missions, and their faith compels them to actively love their neighbor as themselves. We've seen particularly great success with churches in San Antonio and Dallas participating in the program. What if there were ways to engage more rural churches to become successful sites? This bill will allow our churches to become a part of a scalable, sustainable program with long-term change. Approximately 480 churches acted as sites last year, and of that total, nearly a quarter were Texas Baptist churches. Baylor University, home to Texas Hunger Initiative, and I believe in Representative Anderson's district, is a Texas Baptist-affiliated university. I can tell you that these two organizations have a fundamental commitment to end hunger. That drive, coupled with the partnerships they are able to develop through academia and private funding, truly makes Texas Hunger Initiative and Baylor University great partners in the strategic planning process with the Department of Agriculture. I urge you to support HB 749 as a way to maximize existing federal funds, capitalize on creative solutions, and help feed hungry children in Texas. Thank you. I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Ms. Olson. Are there any questions? Uh, we appreciate Thank your you. testimony. Thank you. Thank you for coming to see us.